My brothers and sisters, today I want us to think about another group of persons who need to be encouraged to come to faith early, and that's our children and our youth. Um, we have issues with our children wanting interesting curriculum, and sometimes it's hard to compete with the video games and the TV and things that they are accustomed to, but now that we've got all this virtual learning, I have a feeling that we're going to be far more creative when it comes to presenting things to them. Although sometimes they say that they're burnt out. Uh, they get tired of all the virtual um, learning and experience and exposure. So we may have to come up with some other ways of keeping them entertained. Another thing, of course, is that we need committed teachers who have a vibrant faith. Uh, it's not enough just to be a day school teacher. Uh, you need to be talking easily and freely about your love for the Lord, your experience of God, your passion for ministry. That has to come over very clearly because this is not an abstract learning experience. This is a faith journey, a spiritual maturing, a nurturing of of a relationship with God. And the person who's teaching that has to have that kind of relationship, has to have that kind of excitement and enthusiasm so that the children will be able to, to, to feel it and know it. And of course, that's a challenge to parents to say that you can't sell a product that you don't seem to find necessary in your life or that you aren't practicing with you preach. So there's a real challenge to us as adults to be far more sincere in what we say we believe. And if we don't, to get the spiritual direction, to, to do the reading, the studying, the Bible studies, the prayer groups, to do whatever we can to come alive in our own faith for the children's sake. And so when you think of the day, time of day that we want to engage the children, is Saturday morning the best time? Or are there other conflicts, particularly when they used to be playing games and things? Now, maybe we can capture them while they're at home, and particularly lockdown. But, you know, the day of the week may not best be Sunday. There may be another day um, when teachers, you know, feel that they are, are ready to, to share at some other time. Or Sunday may be the best time now. But also the time of the day, also... When, when we're back out on, on the road again, you know, the whole transportation issues of bringing children to events, um, bringing them to youth group, for example, and what that means. And again, consistent, reliable, suitable persons to be youth leaders, um, another challenge for us. And of course, relevant programs appropriate for that age that will keep them engaged and interested. And so... We really need to look at all of what it takes to keep our children interested um, and to introduce them to, to the whole idea that they're never too young to really know the Lord and love the Lord and worship the Lord and serve the Lord. And I remember there were times when parents wouldn't even want to bring their children. They want the bus driver to come and they didn't want to pick them up. They wanted the bus driver. And sometimes it would take the driver three hours to be up and down all around, depending on where members live, getting children to a location or whatever. So now that we are all in one place, maybe we, which is home, maybe we can come up with uh, finding some new ways to, to attract our children, for them to understand that they need the Lord. That in times like this, you need a Savior, you need a Lord, you need the Holy Spirit to give you wisdom, to give you strength, to give you hope, give you peace, that we need the Lord. And so I'm hoping that we all as adults and younger adults, young you know, teenagers, that we are going to live a faith that is going to enable our children to have a far firmer faith foundation than they've ever had. And so let's not underestimate. Look at the children in the Bible, the little boy with his loaves and fishes and Naaman's little maid and, and other, other children that um, were young. 
We want to have our children know that we expect great things from them and the only way they're going to accomplish it is to know that there is a God who empowers. So we have our work cut out because we've got to engage the next generation in something that is an anchor when the storm winds blow and a praise going up when it's wonderful. And as I like to say, a praise the Lord anyway when it's one of those days. So be blessed to get our children on board. We don't want them left behind. God bless you.